Hi, everyone. I'm John Siegenthaler, and welcome to our discussion on the new COVID-19 vaccines. Thanks for joining us. As you've heard, the vaccines are now being distributed across the country. We know you have questions. We're going to try to give you some answers. Let me introduce Dr. Christopher Ream, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer at LifePoint, and Michelle Watson, Senior Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at LifePoint. Welcome to both of you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Reem, can I start with you? What do people need to know about these vaccines and why they're so important? So the vaccines are very important because currently this is a new uh, virus where we do not have innate immunity to that virus and we're all practicing mitigation efforts. We're wearing masks, we're staying apart from each other and we're washing our hands frequently. And in order to get out of that state and to get to the end of the pandemic, we have to get immunity to this virus and taking the vaccine is our path to that immunity. I guess the biggest question, Michelle, is whether or not this vaccine is safe. How can we be sure? You know, John, we hear that question a lot. Uh, is the vaccine safe? And the first thing I would say is yes. And I think it's important that everyone knows the vaccine is not a law virus. So taking the vaccine does not cause someone to contact uh, COVID-19. And even though the vaccine was expedited through the processes, because we know it takes many years to get a vaccine uh, in the hands of the healthcare providers, but even in this situation with the COVID-19 vaccine, the same thresholds, the same safety measures, the same clinical trials were applied to these vaccines, just like any other vaccine. Michelle, who should get the vaccine and who shouldn't? You know, who should not get the vaccine is someone who has had a severe allergic reaction to a vaccine previously. And they really should have conversations with their primary care physician on the benefits to having the vaccine. And then this vaccine has not been tested or approved for children under the age of 16. Beyond those two, everyone really should consider having the vaccine and talking with their healthcare provider if they have any underlying conditions that would prohibit them from having it or would put them at greater risk for contacting COVID-19 if they do not have the vaccine. Dr. Reem, there, there are obviously these two different vaccines, uh, Pfizer and Moderna. We've heard a lot about them. What's the difference? So they're, they're both messenger RNA vaccines. So they're the first two vaccines ever to leverage that technology. Um, so they're very similar in that regard. But uh, Pfizer has to be stored at a colder temperature than Moderna. So that's a difference. Um, but it, it, generally speaking, they're very similar from an efficacy perspective. They both have proven out to have uh, approximately 95% efficacy. So that's a great sign that they both work uh, very similarly and are very um uh, very good in driving up our immunity to protect us from, from um, COVID-19. And I would say the other uh, similarity between the two of them is that they both require two shots. Uh, Pfizer happens to be 21 days apart and Moderna is 28 days apart. So if I get two shots, how long am I protected for? It's a great question. Uh, because of this, the time frame that we've been studying the vaccines, we don't know how long they're going to last. Uh, there's a belief amongst the research community that it's going to be potentially longer than a year, but as of right now, we can't answer that question. Michelle, can you talk about the distribution? What is it gonna look like? So the distribution has been really a logistics um, event to watch. The government is working with the distributors who are moving the vaccine across the country through carriers like FedEx and UPS. That is then being deployed from the carriers into certain hospitals. Dr. Reem, we've heard a couple of, about these two vaccines, but are there other vaccines and treatments on the horizon that may help in this fight against COVID? Yeah, so there's two other vaccines, one from AstraZeneca and one from John, um, Johnson & Johnson that are kind of the next two likely to make it through the process and be approved. Um, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a single dose regimen. The AstraZeneca is also a two dose regimen. Um, so uh, again, I think which vaccine that gets approved and, and you ultimately get probably doesn't matter. A at this point, uh, what's important is uh, if you have access to a vaccine or when you have access to a vaccine uh, to get the vaccine. And doctor, how many people need to be vaccinated in order for our country to get back to normal? Uh, that's another, another great question. Um, because of this being a novel uh, or a new virus, uh, we can't answer that specifically, but the, I'd say that most of the experts believe between 70 and 80% of the population needs to be vaccinated for us to get to the point where we can start dialing back the mitigation efforts. Are you both going to get the vaccine, Michelle? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be taking the vaccine. I want to take the vaccine so I can go back to enjoy life that we knew before the pandemic, 
where we can travel and we can go to restaurants and we can spend time with family and especially my precious five-year-old granddaughter. Dr. Reem. I agree hundred percent with what Michelle just said. I wish, I wish I was, it was my place in line today. Um, I'd get the vaccine uh, as soon as it is my turn. Um, I think it is our path to returning to normalcy. It's going to be, it's going to take all year because we do have to get enough people to be vaccinated for us to be able to get, uh, to stop wearing masks and to get rid of social distancing and, um, and get back to normalcy. But, uh, uh, as soon as I have access to it, I'll be in line. I'm with you both, and uh, thank you for this great information. And those of you who are watching, if you have more questions, check with your hospital's website for the latest information. I'm John Sigenthaler. Thanks for watching.